We're here at Connected Britain with Cormac Whelan, CEO of UK and Ireland for Nokia. 5G is clearly a big subject here at Connected Britain. How do you see Nokia positioned in this space? Um, we're actually one of the leading uh, technology vendors of 5G and associated technologies globally. Um, Nokia, as everyone knows, is a brand that's been around in the mobile space, networks, handsets, etc. for a long time. Uh, but they also acquired three years ago Alcatel Lucent, who were one of the world's leading companies in fixed access technologies. So now combined, we can offer the full end-to-end -end 5G capability. So it's not just about mobile, it's the fixed and mobile capability. And we can bring that. And you can't do 5G without fiber. So how do you uh, position yourselves in this space? You're absolutely right. Um, 5G is not the next G. Um, it is in fact a, uh, a convergence of a number of technologies that have gone before, plus the new 5G capability. But all of it requires fibre in order to work. It's a bit like trying to have a whole market full of cars and having no roads to run it on. So it's, it's absolutely crucial that you have a proper 5G infrastructure. Um, in our fixed access capability that we have in our fixed networks division in Nokia, we have the ability to deliver all the fiber capability, not just the technology, but also the services, the design and the execution and rollout as well. With So being able to do both the fixed and mobile and the full service management actually makes us quite strong in the whole end-to-end -end piece. And security in 5G is highly topical, but why is it so important this time around? Great question. It is a very uh, topical conversation. The word fiber and the word security are the two things around. Um, I think it's because traditionally security has been added to networks as an additional bolt-on piece of technology or it's been in individual pieces of equipment. But what needs to happen and what must happen uh, in the 5G space because of its end-to-end -end nature, uh, both hardware and software, um, is you have to have security built in by design. It actually has to be part of the architecture and design of the network. Otherwise, you've got some serious security issues coming. And you've been coming to Connected Britain since it started. How have you seen it change? Oh, well, it's gone from bigger to bigger and greater and greater things. Um, you know, it's, it's probably, I think, the premier industry event for the industry itself. Um, I think one of, the, one of the best things it's done over the year actually is it educates the marketplace and the wider space outside of us. Quite often you'd come to a, an industry event and you just have industry people talking to industry people. Um, but the, the publicity from Connected World beyond this hall actually educates the UK marketplace and beyond, which is massively important because it isn't just about selling bits and bytes. It really is about building the network infrastructure we need for the UK for the future. And this is where it kind of all comes together. Great, thank you for talking to us. Pleasure, thanks.